Hello and welcome to the Data Vigo channel. My name is Sarush and today I will be talking about a cool and nifty feature in Microsoft Excel, creating map charts. In 2016, Microsoft added an exclusive feature to Excel 365 for creating map charts. This is a very simple and effective tool for visualizing data on maps. Creating these maps is a pretty simple task which we will learn through a number of examples. I should note that creating maps in Excel has some bugs which I will briefly discuss in the last example. In the first example, we will create a map to visualize the world's proven oil reserves by country. The data used in this example is obtained from this website here and all I need to do to create the map chart is to select the columns that include the country names and their oil reserves, which is in barrels. So I select these two columns, go to the Insert menu, click on Maps, and select Field Map. And here, Excel has created this nice map chart of the world, where the countries in the list are color-coded based on how much oil reserves they have. Now, let's have a closer look at the map chart. The first thing that you notice is that on the bottom of the chart it says powered by Bing. This is quite important because Bing has its own way to name and identify geographic data. And so, to create a map chart in Excel, the location data should include Bing map supported geographic data such as country, state, province, or postal code. Now, let's see if we can make some changes to this map chart. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to double click on the chart then go to the Format menu and here select Series. You can see that the Series options appears on the right-hand side of the spreadsheet. And if I click on it, it gives me some options. I can change the map projection. I can change the map area to show only the countries with data. This is how it's going to look if it's selected. You see countries with no data are removed from the map. I'll change it back again to Automatic. And I can also add map labels. The most important setting that you can change is the gradient style and the coloring style. Currently, a sequential two-color scheme is selected, but I can change this to a diverging three-color scheme. I can update the settings and change the middle point value to, let's say, yellow. And choose red for the highest value. You can see that the map is updated with the new settings. In the second example, we will create a map of all the confirmed COVID-19 cases in the different states of the US. I managed to obtain some data from the GitHub of New York Times, which you can access through this link. The data consists of confirmed COVID-19 cases and the number of deaths in each individual state. So if I want to plot the number of confirmed cases on the map, all I need to do is to select the state name and case column, just like this, Go to the Insert menu, click on Maps, and select Field Map. And here we have the map of all the confirmed COVID cases. Just to make the map look a little bit more dramatic, I'm going to change the color scheme. So again, I select the chart by double-clicking on it, go to the Format tab, select the Series, and then select the Options tab in the Format Data Series. Let's show the highest value in red. And there we go. The same steps can be followed to create a map of the confirmed COVID-19 cases in the different counties of an individual state. So here, I have the counties of the state of California with the number of confirmed cases and deaths, and all I need to do is to select these two columns and repeat the same steps. So I go up here to the Insert menu, click on Maps, and select Field Map. And here we go. We have a map of the different counties in the state of California, which clearly shows that the Los Angeles County has recorded the greatest number of cases. In the third and final example, we will create a population distribution map for England. It's important to note that for England and the UK, Bing sort of only recognizes ceremonial counties, so the data needs to be in the correct format. I got this data from this link here, and now I'm going to select the county and population columns and see what Excel will generate. So I go to the Insert menu, click on Maps, select Field Map, and this is what Excel generates for us. 
Let's zoom in and see if the information is correct. As you can see, some of the districts and the regions have no data and are not colored here. This is one of the bugs that Excel and Bing Map have in some countries like England and the UK. The way I found around this was to use an Excel generated map that is correctly plotted and then just replace the data. What you see here is a map of the UK that I compiled from different sources. If you have a closer look at the table, you can see that it consists of ceremonial counties, some subdivisions, and even some cities. This is still not a perfect map. You can see a whole county in Northern Ireland is still missing. You can download this base map from the link in the descriptions. Now let's see how we can use this map to plot the population distribution in England. This is the same map, but I've only kept the counties in England. I've also copied over the population information from the other sheet. Now, all I need to do is to replace these values with the populations, so that is what I'm going to do. And if I just make the changes for all the cells, you can see the map is updated, and we have the population density map that we were trying to generate. I hope after watching this video, you've learned how to create map charts in Excel. As you saw, the feature has some bugs and is not 100% perfect, but it's so easy that it's definitely worth using, especially if you want to make maps of the world or the US. It doesn't work particularly well with zip codes, and for other countries like the UK, you need to know what names and regions to use to get a nice map. There are more interesting things that you can do with Excel and its map charts. In future videos, I will show you how you can use Visual Basic Application or Python in conjunction with Excel map charts to create animations for time series data. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.